All right, hey guys, welcome to Desert Kings Falconry. Originally, you know what, I had started this video to talk about the equipment that I use for our birds and kind of the basic use of a lot of this equipment. You know what, I had it all kind of laid out on the table and I got started and you know what, it, it, it sucks, I don't like it. <laughs> so I wanna show you guys what equipment we use but I'm gonna show it to you hands on. This is Ahsoka. Ahsoka is actually just getting ready to start flying for us soon. She is one of our good pigeon hawks here. Uh, she catches a, us a lot of pigeons. She hit well over you know, 200 pigeons last season uh, and we're hoping to get even more on this next one. She's gotten a lot better and because she's done with their molt, it is time to start bringing her weight down and to fly her and during that time I use a lot of equipment that helps make this possible. So probably one of the first and most recognizable pieces of equipment used in falconry is going to be the falconry glove. There are very few birds of prey that you can fly without this piece of equipment and all it really does is just help protect my own hand. The bird also wears quite a lot of equipment as well. Of course we have the anklets which are made out of kangaroo leather which are attached to jesses. Now these jesses are just these little tassels that hang off of the anklets, and this just allows us to either tie or hold on to the bird during any sort of dangerous situation, or if we just need to move locations, it allows me to hold the bird without her flying away. Those jesses are then attached to an extender, and an extender helps prevent tangling when they are tied to a leash. And then that extender connects to a swivel, which allows the leash to just swivel around so that it doesn't get twisted up. And then there's the long section of the leash that it is attached to. I can tie a bird to a perch if I need to, or I can wrap that leash around my glove in order to handle my bird and just have a more secure hold on them. Now we are also in and out of vehicles quite often, whether it be golf carts or our own vehicles. So we need a bag that we can easily get in and out of a car. And so we really like to go with these, um, uh, these waste bags here. Allows me to reach in, pull any tidbits out that I need. Um, and I can also fit quite a few pigeons in here if I need to as well. So this is our bag of choice. We really like these because it's really easy to get in and out of vehicles with them on and we can still fit quite a lot in them, more than you'd expect. Ahsoka's one of the birds I can trust more often, but I wanna make sure that I always keep track of our birds because you never know when a bird is going to get stuck on a roof. Maybe one of our birds catch a pigeon on a roof. We wanna make sure that we can keep track of our bird through the night and make sure that we're able to retrieve them the next day. The way we track our birds is through a GPS or radio telemetry. This right here is the device I prefer using. Uh, a couple of our other guys here on the team use it as well. All it is is just a tracker that can attach to a bird's backpack. We do put backpacks on our birds. Uh, and it can attach to a tail mount. So there, we've got a couple options there. The batteries last quite a long time. And again, it just allows us to keep track of our birds, make sure that, you know, we don't lose them. We want to be able to get them back, keep them working, and make sure that they're well taken care of. The scale is also pretty important too. It's something that we use every single day. Every morning we weigh our birds, making sure that they are at the proper weight to fly. Harris Hawks have a pretty wide uh, flight range. Normally you can fly them as long as you're within 20 grams of the target flight weight. So this is just a simple laboratory scale I've modified to put a perch on, so that way I can put my birds on it as well. All right, well, there you have it. That's pretty much all the equipment that we use on a daily basis here at Desert Kings Falconry to work with our birds. If you guys want to learn more, we'll be discussing the telemetry and the tracking systems that we use and exactly how they work and why they work. So we'll be going over that in the next video, so make sure you guys stick around and we will see you next time.